have you ever had those minty gum or the minty cough drops and then you have that amazing cool feeling in your mouth, uh, throat and sometimes even ear and nose? Okay, do you know why is it because of? It's because of menthol. And do you know how menthol works? Actually, menthol plays a trick on your nerves. Okay, so what it does is your body's cold sensing nerve cells have these cold sensing nerve receptors. Now, these re receptors actually, they trigger the signal to your brain telling uh, about the low temperature. And menthol, what it does is it actually uh, pl uh, plays a trick by telling uh, telling the brain about this uh, about this cooling effect without actual drop in the temperature. So menthol triggers your nerve cells in similar way, giving your mouth that cooling effect without the actual temperature drop. But then what happens is this cooling effect helps relieve from pain and inflammation. So it's it's like a cold pack. And this is how menthol works. Now, welcome to our spice series and it's week 30th, yes. And we are going to talk about three cool health benefits of today's herb and, and that is mint. We are going to talk about mint. So welcome to Sona Motivates. Sona Motivates you to be healthy, be happy and enjoy every moment. And thank you guys very much for, for joining me today on this Facebook Live, on Instagram Live, and also um, then we are going to post this on YouTube as well. So thank you those who are watching this video later. Okay, so let's see what is happening with mint today. So plants from mint family have this menthol in the oils. They produce this menthol in the oils, which is very, which is a natural pain reliever. And it is it was used for thousands of years. Now, Exploring mint together, let's see how mint was um, uh, invented. It was actually used in toiletries and in cosmetics low, uh, back in the centuries. And uh, uh, until then, the, uh, the English people were the first one who, uh, in the 17th century, they actually used this mint as a food. And uh, they started using it and they are still huge fans of mint. And uh, they are they then you have these all jams and jellies and pastries and cakes and ice creams everything including uh, mint uh, was then was uh, um, invented and people started eating mint in many ways and uh, today let's talk about mint and mint was actually it was uh, uh, it was native to Europe and Asia and uh, uh, it. it it then traveled all around and it is now very, very widely grown in Middle East, in uh, North um, uh, Africa, South America and in uh, some part, parts of Himalayas. Now, it is a small plant with uh, this very, um, very, you can say very uh, pointed and small leaves and they grow in opposite ways. They go in uh, grow in opposites and uh, they have this very sweet smelling, fresh aroma flavor and they have this cool hint which we talk because of the menthol and it makes the perfect additions to um, to any kind of teas uh, tea you make or drinks uh, beverages and jams and jellies and syrups and candies and ice creams so uh, mint can be used very very widely in many many uh, many many uh, dishes okay Mint was famous for cooking, is famous for cooking rather, but it has a lot of therapeutic uh, value as well. And in Ayurveda, it is called as Pudina and it is very, uh, it is uh, widely used in many, many forms. And of course, dried mint, that's what we are, we, uh, uh, we are going to talk about, but we also can replace this dried mint with uh, the fresh mint leaves. And uh, I'm so sorry, I don't have this mint today. And um, today morning itself, I finished in my smoothie. Uh, but I, I wish I had remembered and I had time to buy a new one, but I don't have the mint leaves, but we all know how mint looks, so I don't have to show you guys right now. But let's jump on to our first health benefit, and that even I didn't know previously, and it is so interesting. Mint improves brain power. Yes, we knew about a little bit about mint's uh, aroma and about the chutney and about the flavor um, and also a little bit about these therapeutic uh, or healing properties, but mint improves your brain power. Now, 
what about several studies have shown that mint can actually uh, it can uh, ele elevate it can amp up um, the quick thinking and uh, alertness and the cognitive function in, uh, in in individuals who regularly eat it it was discovered that uh, folks who actually chew the uh, chewing gum with the mint as one of the main ingredient uh, they have higher brain power uh, than the ordinary persons and that was very interesting so next time uh, you feel a little bit dull and you know you are you want to boost your brain power go ahead and pop the minty uh, chewing gum or uh, how about chewing some of the fresh uh, mint leaves and that will help you, you know, to feel uh, feel smarter <laughs> but uh, not only this actually inhaling this mint oil has uh, helped people combat their stress and anxiety so there was uh, there was a lot of studies done and even the uh, some of the students uh, uh, they uh, they decided to keep the mint oil uh, oil bottles with them and when they were stressed with the uh, with the deadlines and stuff, they just uh, used to inhale these couple of drops and it helped them relieve from the stress. And this was one of the very interesting fact I learned about because uh, 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 because we uh, it's it's very easy to grab a coffee and run around uh, with some kind of you know finding the uh, anti anxiety uh, pills and stuff. But if there are so, such kind of very easy, quickly available. Uh, these kind of cures why let's try those first so i really like this main leave about the mint how it calms you down so next time uh, please try it and don't forget to leave the comment about whether you tried it and how you felt about it okay so let's jump on to our second health benefit and we are going to talk about how mint is excellent for digestion and also in the in ibs now any kind of di digestive problem you have you know mint has this um, very very cool uh, antioxidant properties which soothes the digestive system now uh, there is very common digestive problems you know motion sickness nausea uh, you get, then maybe the gas problem or food poisoning stomach disorder any kind of disorders mint can help you relieve from it and then we are going to talk how you can help uh, you can uh, use this as a home remedy and also in cooking so I'm going to go next to it at this point but let's focus that how it can help you know in the uh, in the in digestion the digestive problem and also about the IBS now regarding IBS IBS is actually irritable bowel syndrome and one in seven Americans uh, suffer from IBS and most of them are women now in IBS what happens is um, uh, it actually uh, the, the the intestine the the intestinal muscles they contract slower or faster than the regular uh, than, than the regular speed than usual and what happens is people who suffer from IBS they have this abdominal pain bloating excess of gas and uh, um, sometimes diarrhea and sometimes constipation and alternatively and uh, it's very very dis, uh, discomfort uh, in their lifestyle so what uh, what happens is if you start consuming a mint because studies have shown that mint can actually ease the symptoms of IBS uh, as it relaxes the muscles of your uh, in GI tract uh, and it uh, regularizes the, the their speed it regularizes normals the normalizes their contractions also it can also help clear up these bacteria uh, which uh, the excessive growth of these bacteria which uh, which are in small intestine and which uh, was supposed which are assumed to be the cause of IBS so in, in both these ways you know even for the uh, normal very regular discomfort uh, comfort of digestive pro this problem uh, or even till uh, about the IBS you anywhere in spectrum if you are um, having any of these issues uh, mint can help you so and how you can use the mint is let's see how uh, we can use it as a home remedy um, you can make a tea with mint leaves, lemon juice and honey and you can consume it or how about making this um, uh, maybe uh, extracting this uh, mint juice and you can uh, consume it uh, twice a day maybe two, one tablespoon or so and more of these is uh, you can also uh, have the mint leaves in, uh, in different form like you can 
cook with it and I'm, I'm going to talk about it in a while but uh, let's talk if you uh, you want to like we talked about how uh, after a long uh, hard day of work and you want to calm yourself down then having the uh, tub bath or having a regular bath with this uh, mint oil in your bath water or uh, put in, uh, you can put some of these drops on the cloth on the um, uh, on a regular cloth and put it under your pillow before sleeping and see the effect of the mint next morning and also if you have migraine you know you can inhale inhale the steam uh, warm the boil the water put this uh, mint even mint leaves or mint oil and inhale this thing it can help you calm down then and it will help relieve you from migraine and uh, also regarding the skin problem so if you have those dark spots or maybe uh, you know acne problem or you have dry skin uh, then you can just uh, extract this um, again the uh, mint uh, mint juice from the mint uh, mint leaves and then uh, put it on your face uh, leave it for 15 to 20 minutes and warm and wash it with a lukewarm water and then you can see a glowing skin within a few days okay and then of course we talked about green tea it's a great addition you can you know, instead of having coffee all the time try switching to these herb teas they help a lot uh, then we also have this excellent remedy for any kind of pain in, in you know, migraine or joint pain or any kind of pain you know sometimes a back pain how about uh, taking the uh, uh, two three uh, spoons uh, full of this mint oil and coconut oil together you make a and then you mix them in equal quantity and then uh, massage the affected area with this oil and you can see the effect and I'm going to try that because I have a little bit of back problem going on right now. So I'm going to try it because I haven't used mint oil ever. Uh, but definitely in um, inhaling, yes. And I do add mint to my smoothies every day. Uh, so that's the best way I can incorporate mint in my diet. Because sometimes it's so, so many of herbs and spices and you forget uh, to use them every day. So I mix and match them and use them in my smoothies, okay? So we just talked about two of the health benefits and we still have to go with our third health benefit and that is mint helps in treating respiratory disorders. So any kind of respiratory issues, right, from uh, normal, like uh, their cold, cough, or nasal congestion, sinus, uh, bronchitis, or asthma, or uh, so these kind, or you might be having the sore throat, headache, or uh, chest congestion, and uh, runny nose, so, uh, these all can be, um, you know, it can, all can be fought uh, with, with the help of this uh, are mint leaves so mint because mint is an anti-inflammatory problem it has anti-inflammatory properties it is natural relaxant and it also helps in congestion so you can take like we just saw you can take uh, inhale the mint leaves um, after adding to the boiling water you can inhale that steam as you can use it as a vaporizer or you can actually uh, consume the mint juice and that helps you relieve the cold and cough symptoms quicker and faster so these were three excellent and cool health benefits and just for the recap we'll see for mint improves the brain power it um, mint is excellent for the digestion or even for IBS and then mint helps in treating respiratory disorders and very very interesting thing is going to go on it's about how you can incorporate mint in an innovative way so one of them is you can make a mint pesto I have let me be honest I haven't tried it because I think mint can be a little bit overpowering but how about adding mint and cilantro together and maybe making a pesto because I tried it and I liked it. So if you are a huge fan of mint, then please go ahead and make the mint pesto and post your comments. But if you are not, then you can add a little bit of cilantro leaves to it to clean it down because I love cilantro more than mint. Uh, but if you are the other way around, go ahead and make the pesto with the uh, mint. And then you can add uh, mint to the cream base uh, sauces or soup. Um, that is a very different, gives a very different and unique taste, but do try it. Then, of course, the chutney, just now I told you, it's a very common uh, in Indian households that we make it. Um, ginger, garlic, then you can add jalapeno or you can add this, um, the Thai chilies. Uh, then you add cilantro and then mint, uh, lemon juice, salt, 
and then grind it together. You can use it as a, uh, as a condiment on the side with anything or how about adding the chutney to your salad. So that will be a very interesting twist. So try to make it add to the salad as a dressing and use it. Okay, what else uh, we have here is we can make, uh, what can we do with the mint? Yeah, one more very interesting uh, idea how you can use this mint is um, you can uh, just, you know, pluck these mint leaves, wash them clear, uh, cleanly and then add them to the uh, water in the ice cube. Uh, you can add the whole or you can chop them and add them in the ice cube and set the tray and use these amazing icy minty uh, ice cubes for your uh, cold beverages and that will be a very uh, unique it will give a very unique taste to your lemonades or iced teas and that will be very interesting to see and i have to, um, i am going to try it and post the pictures and please you guys do the same okay and then one more interesting is you chop these, uh, you can use the dried uh, mint or also the, the regular fresh one. You chop these mint leaves and add to your vinaigrette dressing or to olive oil. And then you can eat it with the bread or pour it on your pasta just, uh, just by itself and it tastes amazing. Okay, these were amazing, amazing innovative ideas to incorporate mint in your diet or uh, in your daily regular routine of eating but and uh, don't forget about adding to the smoothies or even to the juice okay so that really helps uh, we just saw the home remedies there are a couple of them we are going to post the blogs below this link uh, blog link below this youtube video and also in facebook so if you don't see the video and you would like to read please go ahead and read the blog share it uh, let us know uh, what do you feel about it and uh, don't forget to comment please 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 share uh, this because this is very very useful uh, information and uh, make sure you like us uh, share about us and keep in touch with our next spice herb next week see you with a new new uh, very unique information about next spice so stay tuned and see you later thank you very much for watching and see you next week Bye.